Good afternoon. Hundreds of thousands of passengers are being hit by more transport strikes across the country after yesterday's 24-hour London tube walkout. Drivers on southern railways are striking today, tomorrow and Friday, causing four days of disruption. Southern and Gatwick Express services are also affected by a ban on overtime. And British Airways cabin crews are taking action today and tomorrow in a dispute over pay. BA said 22 flights from Heathrow will be cancelled today, but Gatwick and city airports are unaffected. The Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, has said he'd like a cap on high earnings to help create a more equal society. He said the UK's earnings disparity between rich and poor was getting worse and Britain must avoid becoming a bargain basement economy. In a speech later, he's expected to soften his party's insistence on freedom of movement in Europe post-Brexit. He also condemned the practice in several industries where workers are brought over from other countries. What we're now saying, because we're obviously leaving the European Union, what we're now saying is there has to be a clear definition that you protect the working conditions and wage levels that are here. Because some companies, particularly in the construction industry, are making a fortune out of uh, getting rid of workers in this country on one set of paying conditions and bringing in others to okay. undercut them. Police are investigating after saline bags were apparently tampered with at a hospital in Cumbria. North Cumbria University Hospitals Trust said security measures had been increased across Cumberland Infirmary in Carlisle after a member of staff discovered several saline bags that appeared to have been tampered with. A spokesman said there were no indications that any patients had been adversely affected. And in the US, a group of Democrat politicians has called for a review of Donald Trump's appointment of his son-in-law as a top presidential advisor. The group says the appointment of Jared Kushner, who's married to Mr Trump's daughter Ivanka, raises conflict of interest and nepotism concerns. They've called for an investigation of whether the decision raises legal issues. The 36-year-old millionaire is due to step down as boss of his real estate and newspaper businesses in order to comply with ethics laws. That's the news. We're back tonight at 7 and lunchtime tomorrow.